Happy 420. Mm. Now that's what I'm talking about right here. Done Dizzle, my nizzle. Some favorites lately, if we're talking 420, because it is. This is cool key lime kiwi. These are Mindy's. Mindy's best gummies in the city. And also some grassroots birthday cake hybrid. Uh, both of these bought at Sunnyside here in Chicago. But if you know me, I'm not so much a strain weed person so much as I am an eating person. So I like to get to the munchy part. The munchy part is what matters. This video is being posted late on 420 because you're high or you're just hungry. You got the munchies. And you're gonna look inside the refrigerator and the freezer. You're gonna pull that freezer door open and we're gonna make the freezer drawer 420 burger. Got these 12 sesame top slider buns. These are gonna come in handy. Pepper jack cheese, always on hand. Monterey jack and jalapeno peppers. Got some leftover hickory smoked uncured bacon. You're about to be used, couple slices of you. All right, I got five strips of that going in, 425. Also, if you know me at all, you know how much I use this thing for all my cooking. Air fryer, this is Sakura, this thing's like 70 bucks, buy it. Seriously, best investment I've ever made. Just kidding, somebody sent it to me. Three ninety. Eighteen minutes. So I have this little mini. People call them baking sheets. This thing was in an old like toaster oven, and I've since gotten rid of that and just kept this thing. Perfect for little batches of things in the oven. I think each of these sliders is just gonna feature like a couple different types of potatoes. So I'm just gonna do literally like eight tots, a handful of fries, a few waffle fries, and then just make it legit. You got something on your mind. I'ma try to help you let it go. So when you're celebrating 420, you want to give yourself something you can make that flexes your creativity, but you don't want to give yourself such daunting tasks that you're going to have a hyperventilation session of anxiety, realizing that you're a little too high trying to do stuff in the kitchen. So I feel like this type of a burger slider platter kind of falls dead center in the middle of those two things. You want to be as close to the center as you can. Does that sound really high? So don't get me wrong, I'm an all fresh beef kind of guy, but sometimes if you have frozen patties in the freezer, ready to go when you want a burger, it's great. I normally go Billy Goat Tavern's frozen burgers. Those are just a little bit bigger. If you want sliders, I've been going Philly Gourmet. These really shrink to be perfect for a little slider. So about halfway through, I like to, well, first of all, admire these. Oh, baby. I like to flip them. Hey, whoa. You don't have to do this. Normally air fryers are pretty good at full all the way through cooking all the way around but what I like to do is flip them and then with like a minute left throw the pepper jack cheese on it shove it back inside and then uh, it really gets that cheese kind of blanket over the patties you know things got a little crazy last night when I woke up and I just have a bunch of Taco Bell sauce packets in my cast iron skillet what happened so one kind of fancy thing I want to do today I want to make a little spicy mayonnaise, almost like an aioli, to go on the burgers, on the sliders. You don't have to do this. You can just dump mustard and mayonnaise and ketchup on it like most high people would do. I'm going to try to class it up a little bit. 30 days and 30 days going to make it better for you guys. So I'm going to do a tablespoon. I have a lemon. Yeah, let's use it. All right, if you have it, use it. You know, put the lime in there. Tablespoon of lime juice. Plus, you just feel like the Hulk, which is cool. Half a cup of your favorite mayo. I'm doing an eighth of a cup of Sixer sauce. It's kind of a spicy and sweet hot sauce. Somebody gave it to me, it's pretty good. I'm gonna start this first batch kind of smaller, not as hot, because I'm gonna give some to Allie because she's not as much of a spice lord. So I'm gonna go very small on that. And then normally you're supposed to do a lot of chili powder is what I do, or red chili flakes. I'm gonna literally do like three or four little shakes of it just to make this batch, and I'm spicing mine up. It's just fun to make something like this during the slider process. I'm such a sauce person. And like, if you just use the stuff from the bottles, it's fine. But like, if you feel like you made your own little Pyrex bowl or something, I don't know, you just feel better. Here's the consistency you want. You want that like, you're proud to dollop that on your burger. All right, spice test though. We gotta make sure this isn't too spicy for the girlfriend. Does it need anything? Salt. All right, a little bit of salt. 
Oh yeah. All right, all our bacon and carbs are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead, I like to toast all parts of the bun. So we're doing four sliders. So there's eight little parts. I like to go to the top of the oven rack. So here's how we're looking. Rack of buns, carbs, bacon. Oh, this is just beautiful. Almost done. So you got this little sidecar of spicy mayo for Allie. Now here's my concoction of death. Yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, spice it up. Hello, bacon. Ooh, bacon's looking good. All right, about a minute left. Put that cheese right on those burgers. These will go back in for like, I'm not kidding you, probably 30 seconds. Ooh. Cover it up. There we go. Ooh. Buns be done, son. Extra careful doing this. Ooh, got them all. You hear that? You want it to be like, you want it to be like crispy. What you want it to tell you? All right, do you guys want to see what perfect cheese pull? Cheese pull? This is a cheese pull. When you pull it out of there and look at that. Ooh, that's what the cheese should look like on the burger out of an air fryer. Yeah. Now some people are gonna be mad, but I'm gonna blot a little bit of the grease off bacon. You know, I just, it can get, <laughs> Get that, still glistening. Still looking and feeling and changing lives. Looking for what? All right, the assembly. Cheesy burgers, bottom buns. Oh my God, Pepper Jack. Ooh. <laughs> oh baby. Full slice of bacon, X formation. Oh yeah. Got Allie's spicy mayo right here. You can put this on the buns, obviously, like the other side of it, like spread it on. I don't know what it is. I just grew up doing dollops on the burger toppings itself. It's never really done me wrong, you know? And then my spicy mayo death sauce heaping portions on there. And on mine, since I take photos of everything I eat, I like to give it a little dash of pepper on the top too. And don't forget that it's 420. Woo! All right, so each one of these is gonna get a tater tot, a sweet potato fry, and a little three pack of regular fries. Bada boom, tater tot, sweet potato fry, handful of regular fries. You got something on your mind, I'm Friends, happy 420. The freezer door, 420 sliders, looking real, real legit today. Let's give these babies a quick taste test, shall we? This was fun. Mm. Ooh, I wouldn't say that looks half bad. Really nice having the carbs on there. Mm. If you're a real psycho, you can't get enough of your mayo you made. Mm. Babe, this is so good. And incredible. Yeah? Yeah. See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. 30 videos in 30 days. Mm.